The string articulations are kind of special because many of them are configurable. There's different things that you can do inside of them. So right now I've got the sustain on. We're just looking at straight up whole notes. And as I cycle through, you see sordino, you know, muted with vibrato, but even a tremolo. But as I get a little further, when I get to trills, for example, you'll see here on the right side, I've got a scale that I can choose. So right now I'm trilling within C major. If I play a C, it's trilling between the notes C and D. All that is C major trilling. Now I can just go to half step and have it go, you know, half steps. And it doesn't matter really the key then. Same with whole steps. But if I'm sticking with the keys, for example, if I'm in D, I can pick the key to piece and then I don't have to worry about is it going to trill, you know, above to a note that is not in the key. So if I play the notes D right here, it's trilling to E. But if I play E, it's actually trilling between E and F sharp. So if I play a C natural, it's going to trill a half step automatically up to C sharp because that's what's in the key of D. So it's kind of cool. You can program those trills to be where they need to be for your piece. Now, for the harmonics, you have a release length. So if you want it to go a really long time after you let go of the note, you hear that harmonic echo, or if you want it to just be short, you can adjust the release length. And for the shorter attacked notes, like staccato, um, and the same with pizzicato, we've got this slam control, which adjusts the compressor to give you more of an impact. So if you listen right now with my staccato... It's a little more aggressive and I don't have to play quite so hard. Also with the round robin, you can control whether they're going uh, continuous, one, two, then three, then four, or if it's bouncing around between the four samples randomly. Watch, I'll hit the same note over and over. It's random. Sometimes it stays on the same one, sometimes it goes back and forth, or it's continuous. I guess it depends on how much you feel like you notice that. Now with the repetition function, which is enabled right here, I can change the accents in addition to the time. So I've got eighth notes, eighth note triplets, and sixteenth note repetitions, but I can actually have it accent one and three, or even accent one, three really strongly, or just accent one. Well, that's pretty neat. And all the rest are pretty much the same. The spiccato and the pizzicato both have attacks and round robins and slam adjustments. So those are some things that are specific to the string articulations, but they're really cool and they can help bring that next level of realism that you're looking for.